right there, ladies and gents, how's it going? It's Brands Hatch, baby. Brands Hatch, off to the BSB, the British Superbikes. That's why I'm in the van. I'm camping in the van for this one, uh, mainly because I have got all the food, all the beer. Life's going to be peachy. Now, um, I'm not hugely into the racing. I just really enjoy watching the racing, if that makes sense. I don't really care about the teams that stuff I just like watching pretty motorbikes so um, I might be a little bit ignorant as to what's, who's who and all that sort of thing um, but hey it's all good fun isn't it it's all good fun and we're finally allowed a bit of freedom so I'm going out to do some I'm going out to watch some motorcycle racing and drink some beers it's gonna be brilliant and keep that bike from now my mate Andy, he's coming along as well. I've got some of his camping gear in the back of the van. He's coming up on the bike, he's doing it properly. But, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm support van. <laughs> it's gonna be epic. Uh, I don't know what footage I'll get from up there, but I'll get some. And uh, I, and if you don't get to watch any of it, because I record rubbish, uh, <laughs> you'll lost my game, because it means that I've probably got too engrossed in watching the bikes go around the tracks and drinking the beers that I've got in my call boxes. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, hopefully I'll string something together for this for you. Look at this, we're at Brands Hatch baby, Brands Hatch, oh yeah, giggity giggity. To the left of us, not that you can see that because you're pointing to the right of us, is where the quiet zone is, um, so families and all that sort of stuff. To the right of us is the circuit. Hello mate, how you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. <laughs> so many people. I oh, see this one's pretty much full. Is it? Uh, no, it's get fuller. Uh, we've had, yeah, we broke records this morning. Oh, I'm not surprised. It's such a gorgeous weekend and got, for it. And got ticking off from the police <laughs> to boot. We can camera general. Just, just yourself, sir. Oh yeah, just me. Yeah. Yep. One adult general. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Uh, just let me give you a wristband. You're a superstar. Right. Cheers, mate. I'm glad you got bin bags this year. I forgot mine. I forgot yours. Yeah. Thank I know you're always pretty good for giving that bin bags here. Yeah, yeah. Keeps it tidy, doesn't it? So yep. it's just this. This gets me in to the camping. Yes, back and forward to the, from the track to the campsite. Yep. And you have to have your admission ticket to get to through get the gate. Lovely. Well, yeah. You know where you're going? Uh, yeah, till there, till it starts making noise and barbecue smells. Yeah, right <laughs> up the top through the gap in the trees. Lovely job. Thanks, yeah. mate. Thanks. Have a good one. So you heard it here first, they're breaking records already with the amount of campers. It's going to be an incredible weekend, I'm sure of it. With all the lockdowns, Grand Hatch is the event to be at if you like uh, general camping, mat homes. This, this isn't a mat home. <laughs> general camping is what I want. Um, yeah, it's going to be an incredible weekend, you just know it. Um, supposedly we've got some storms coming. I don't believe it, we're going to have amazing weather. Amazing. Right. So the key is to go close enough to the toilets to be able to get to them when you need them, but far enough for the toilets so they don't disturb you. <laughs> and we're here. I don't know why here is here, but it's here. This is where I've decided we are going to camp. <laughs> you want a loser, that took me forever to choose. <laughs> Right then, I've got set up at the campsite. I've got my van sorted. I've also pitched up Andy's tent because he's coming tomorrow and I just wanted to make sure that no one stole his pitch in the morning or anything like that while I wasn't here. So, um, yep, we've got an Andy tent. We've got a Pete van. Pete van is all kitted out. It's gonna be lovely in there tonight. Got some barbecues for Friday night and Saturday night. Food, beer, battery banks, comfy chair and lots and lots of water. Um, it's gonna be a scorcher. Supposedly we've got some storms coming. I don't know whether we're gonna get them or not. I like to think positively, so I'm assuming we're not gonna get them. Um, but yeah, it's what it is. But anyway, um, right, <laughs> see you in a bit. <laughs> Cheers.
awesome. <laughs> a little nutter. Morning everyone. Um, so it's Friday morning now and uh, yeah, I slept pretty well. Um, the temperature wasn't awesome because the van isn't insulated so it gets really hot during the day and quite cold at night so that is something I'm going to be looking at doing with the van as soon as I get the opportunity to. I really want to get the pop top done though as the first thing because that's invasive and any insulation I do on the van will then get ripped out <laughs> for them to do that so it doesn't make any sense for me to do the insulation first which is kind of catch-22 chicken and the egg situation um, but yeah I was comfy enough last night um, yeah, I'm, I'm using the level four sleeping bag tonight because the level three one w was just a bit chilly. Um, but yeah, it's all good. Um, I've made myself a brew and yeah, kind of drink that, get some caffeine in me and wake up a little bit and then I'm going to head down into the racetrack and see what's going on today. Um, I, assume, I haven't got a programme but I'm assuming that it's just going to be sort of free practice today. I don't know if they're going to have any racing on or not today. Um, they might have like some of the smaller classes, I don't know. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to blag a programme because I get one with one of my tickets but I don't get that ticket activated till the Sunday. Um, <laughs> so. I need to work out whether I can get black one of them early and find out what's going on for today. Oh, just brush my teeth and uh, as I was brushing them I noticed the sign saying not drinking water and it sort of made me gag a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm human again-ish, nearly. <laughs> it's clouded over a lot today so I imagine the weather reports of showers and um, possible storms and stuff might be potentially true. I'm hoping not. Um, but at least Andy's tent is pitched and has stayed up overnight so when he arrives all he'll have to do is sort his stuff out. I think he said he's going to get here around lunchtime ish uh, but it all depends on work for him. Um, but that gives me plenty of time to wander around the track and sort of see what's going on. Awesome stuff. Right, we're down on the pit lane here. Um, three practices on, I'm not sure what class it is, I've only just got down here. Um, but the first thing's first, let's get bacon back inside me. It's going to be a glorious day, it's super hot already. I just hope the rain holds off, but it should be awesome, it should be awesome. I hope you can hear me. Bloody noisy motorcycle. <laughs> Corkscrew of the UK, the Laguna Slasher Corkscrew of the UK. It's a humongous drop. GoPros don't pick that out. But it's a pretty scary corner, especially for the first one. It's a druid, it's a fun corner. It's tough to get right though. Really tight hair bit. There's supposedly uh, two lines around there. We'll either stay in tight or go out wide, I think. Um, yeah, I ain't got the hang of either. <laughs> Drill. So this is pretty much the fastest part of this circuit. On my Triumph Street Triple 765, I was just about hitting 130 mile an hour as I went under that bridge there. And then braking hard. I hit the crease at the dip down here. These guys probably aren't even breaking. <laughs> Nutters. Love it. So Brand Hatch to me is far more than just the racing. Although it's absolutely incredible hearing the noises of these bikes and these are just the little ones. The big ones, wowzers. It just sends shivers through your spine. These guys are nutters. <laughs> Corner speed for life, oh yeah. But yeah, it's more than just the racing, it's the whole atmosphere. I mean, even last night I was down here by myself and uh, I was just listening to the music at different people's campfires. <laughs> yeah, listening to the music at other people's campfires. And uh, hearing just the joy from people, finally being able to get out and get free and stuff like that. But it's like that all the time with Brand Hatch.
It's such a wonderful circuit. It's just got an incredible atmosphere every single time, even on a track day. It's absolutely my most favorite circuit in the UK. <laughs> oh, mentalists. so far more than just the, the racing and uh, it's not just the campsite either it's just party mode everywhere um, later on we'll be going down the Kentigan and uh, I know for a fact that the Kentigan will be absolutely rammed and I just can't wait, I can't wait. more nutters On track days, this is like one of my favorite parts of the circuit. It's, it's fast, where's the light on? It's fast. But also quite incredibly technical around here because you're kind of using the whole track to get around. Um, and there's some blind corners and all that sort of stuff. Um, and although GoPro doesn't pick up hills, this is quite a steep downhill. Um, yeah, I'm gonna fall down it. <laughs> coming out to play. I think this is their qualifying first session, not sure. Well, the weather came, <laughs> it was predicted. Um, it hit in, I'm not sure what time this morning, but uh, it was rattling off the, ra off the van quite hard. Um, I'm glad I've got a poncho. Cheers for the suggestion, Pez. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's gonna be quite a soggy day by the looks of things. Uh, it has eased up a little bit, but I think that's just temporary. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna have more rain coming um, throughout the day. It's pretty windy too, so uh, hopefully it won't affect the racing, or at least it won't affect the racing to make it dangerous or them needing to stop or anything like that. Um, but yeah, uh, in the meantime, I've just made myself a brew, so I'm gonna have that while we wait for Andy to come back, then we're gonna get some bacon and eggs on, and uh, I guess after that, we'll head down to the circuit. So uh, yeah, cheers. <laughs>
Well, that's Brands Hatch done. It's only a little clip it, a snippet of what it's all about, but I don't know if you could kind of get a sense of my enjoyment of the place from uh, some of the things I said when I was walking around the circuit, but it's such an incredible place. And even if you don't think you're into motorcycle racing, um, but you've not been, I do recommend giving it a go, and I do recommend giving Brands Hatch a go as well. Um, the British Superbikes is incredibly accessible to most people to work out what's going on. Um, you really don't need to understand bike racing really. And uh, if you really want it, you can get a program and that tells you all about all the details of things and stuff as well. But I've had an absolutely blinder of a weekend. I've sent Andy off, he's gone away on his bike. I've got a few of his bits in the back, which I'm gonna drop around to him tomorrow or something. And uh, yeah, yeah. What an awesome, awesome weekend. I'm absolutely shattered, I'm filthy, I'm desperate for a shower. Um, I could have had showers here, they're very good actually, but I'm a skanky submariner and I was quite happy not doing so. <laughs> All right, let's get the hell out of here, shall we? Okay, so if you have not done so already, do click that subscribe button, it'd be awesome to have you come back and watch some more of my videos. Most of my stuff's always on the bikes rather than watching the bikes, so um, you might enjoy it, hopefully. <laughs> and you might not, who knows. Um, but if you did like this video, you're liking this um, sort of stuff, bike racing, camping, getting pissed and all that sort of stuff, give the video a little thumbs up. And if you didn't, and you don't, and you smell a cabbage and weed, why not give it a little thumbs down? I don't mind, I don't mind at all. But whatever you do, do drop in a comment. I love hearing from you. And uh, yeah, all right, let's try and get this way. <laughs> okay, okay, you ride safe, take care, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye for now. Keep that bike from down. Yeah, you know, you gotta keep that bike. Rubber side down.